Governor Ivy, have you ever eaten a circus peanut? Now, let me tell you this. In the 1930s, a circus peanut meant something different than it does today. So I'm going to answer you as if you asked me that in the 1930s. And the answer is yes. All right. <laughs> Now, I know that some of y'all are unconstituated, meaning that you aren't having a constituation yet. So, I don't expect you in the Russian to know constituation without knowing me and my her story, okay? So, allow me to spin for y'all an old southern yarn. It was the last day of the Confederacy, November 6th. It was the last day of the Confederacy, November 6, 1865, in an old forgotten swamp in the southernmost phalange of Alabama. According to historical records, it had been a particularly hot summer and the swamp had all but dried up, revealing a singular dinosaur egg. Now, one might think of this egg defunctory, but one would be wrong. As it baked in the summer sun, the egg began to rumble, and then it cracked, and a creature emerged and was hatched into the mud. The prophecy had been fulfilled. An ancient chimera was born into this world with the primordial instincts of a reptile mixed with the greed and brutality of Neolithic man. Paleontologists would refer to it as Caceratopius ivisaurus, but I... I adopted the name K. Ivy for that creature was me. <laughs> for years, for years, I subsisted under the wraparound porch of an old antebellum home. I feasted on mushrooms and cornbread, rats, snakes, and the occasional litter of raccoon kittens. But soon, my cravings evolved. I realized it wasn't blood I craved, it was power. The kind of power that can only be provided by a loyal constituency. So I would ask of all of y'all tonight to join my constituency and join the campaign of K. Ivy Saurus. Me, K. Ivy, thank you. I appreciate that, Miss Ivy. Yeah, so, right. so you still want to talk to some of these, some of your constituents here tonight? We doing a, a Q and A? Yes, ma'am. That's what that flag stands for behind you, right? Q and A. That's right, the Q and A flag. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. Does anybody, anybody want to come up here and uh ask Miss Ivy a question? LGBT Q and A. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want me to move? Yes, yes, sir. All right. Uh, Jeffrey, you have a question for, for Governor Ivy? Hi, Governor Ivy. How you doing? Uh, Governor Ivy, I have, a, I have a very, very serious question that I think affects the lives of many people in this room. Uh, okay. This year, we are at a serious risk of losing something that's very important to all of us. Uh, Governor Ivy, will you allow college football to be played this year? Will I allow what? College football to be played this year. Well, the thing is, K. Ivy only answers to one person, and that's okay. Nick Saban. That's Nick Saban. Fantastic, fantastic. So oh. we will have college football then. Sure, if that man wants to, that's fine with me. You got what you got to understand about K. Ivy. K. Ivy really doesn't care about people. K. Ivy doesn't care about people. No, that's what you got to understand when you ask me a question. K. Ivy really doesn't care about people. Oh, I mean, you've made that pretty obvious, Governor Ivy. Yeah, I know. 